You live down here? This just back door. Front entrance over there. Makes sense. Whoa! Is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch Cloud Sea sometimes. Anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex? Rex Rex. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? <laughs> what the bloody hell is this? Don't tell me this is meant to be me. A remarkable likeness, to say the least. Oi, did you see some things? Uh, no. I fear they may have conflated our countenances, my lady. How very awful. Let's take to the skies. Let's play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 starts tomorrow. This journey across a massive world is something that can keep you busy for a long time between its exciting combat, stunning soundtrack, and one of my personal favorite cast of characters. I'd describe this as an RPG with a huge focus on exploration. Without going into too much detail, even with its reputation for being lengthy, I'd describe it as respectful of the player's time with many design decisions popularized in Western games. It's something of a best of both worlds situation having gameplay that's popular in Japan and in the West. Despite the title, this game's story is enjoyable on its own, though there are some references to the original Xenoblade Chronicles that may improve the experience. I'll be here to guide you through the non-spoiler references, I won't be saying anything without warning that could give unwanted details on another game's story but just know there are a few things I think that could be picked up on by playing another game. If I can talk about my own motivations about this for a second, I think this game was unfortunately cursed with some bad tutorials that give the player bad advice, and a lot of aspects of its gameplay went misunderstood or just outright unnoticed by most players, myself included at first. I'd like to hopefully make that good tutorial for other people, because it really is fantastic when it's explained. See you back here tomorrow for Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2.